right, today we're going to be finding <coughs> elapsed time by using the Z method. And this is a very easy way to figure out how much time has passed. And I have an example for us over here. If our start time is 8.32, we want to find out how much time has passed if we go to 11.10 a.m. Now, the Z method makes finding elapsed time very easy. Uh, we've been talking about how to tell time in the previous lessons. But with the Z method, you have a start time and an end time. And we make this Z pattern that lays out the steps for us to find how much time has passed. So for our start time, we want to move from there to the nearest or the next 10 minutes. Uh, next 10 minute mark. So for instance, I would go from 8.32 to 8.40, which we'll see in our example. Then I want to go from this point down to the next closest hour to our ending time. So the closest hour to the end time, which would be 11 a.m. And then the last part, we end up finishing with our ending time. But what we have is we will end up with usually some minutes here, some hours here, and then minutes again at the end, which we'll then calculate and then add up to get our hours and minutes that have passed. So let's look at this example here. So my start time <clears throat> is 8.32 a.m. And I'm going to go to the next 10 minute mark. So that would be 8.40. And I come down, the next closest hour to my whole hour to my finishing time is 11 a.m. Okay, and then my ending time is 11.10 a.m. So now I just go back through the Z again and calculate the minutes and the hours. So I have 8.32 to 8.40, that's 8 minutes. Now from 8.40 to 11, I have to think in my mind, I want to go to the next hour, which would be 9 o'clock, but I can't forget the 20 minutes that are there. 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock, that's 2 hours, plus my 20 minutes. And then I have from 11, 10, 11 to 11.10, that's 10 more minutes. Now, I go back through and I add up to get my hours <coughs> and minutes that have passed. And be careful if we have to regroup anywhere, and I don't think we will with this one. But I have 2 hours, and I have 20 minutes plus 10 minutes, that's 30 minutes, plus an additional 8 minutes for a grand total of 2 hours and 38 minutes that have passed uh, with this elapsed time example. 